Is this your year? Finally, home versus Sanders. Live on Integrated Sports Pay-Per-View. Is promoted by Fresquez Productions. And presented by Casadoras Tequila. And his is my grand opening extravaganza starting on June 23rd. All right, Al, so far everything's lived up to expectations. If incredible fight that we just saw, and we're coming ready for our main event. Holly Holm gets undefeated Mary Jo Sanders, and a lot of lead up to this fight, a lot of talking. Let's see all the lead up. As soon as I found out I was fighting Mary Jo is when I was like, all right, let's, you know, let's train hard and let's, let's get this done. She's an undefeated fighter. I know I'm up against somebody very, very tough mentally and physically. You know, she has that confidence and she's a strong fighter. I think tonight's fight's gonna go my way. We've been preparing for it, doing things that need to be done in order to cut off the ring, um, go over her jab because it's weak. The first three rounds of the fight, I'm not really like putting too much anticipation on it. I don't want to be ex expecting something and then it be totally different. We have our game plan and we're going to try and execute, but um, in this sport, you have to be 100% offense and 100% defense at all times. I don't really know what she's going to do coming out. That's why we prepare for everything. You know, she could try to feel me out a little bit or she could come out with that straight left hand. The few tricks that she has, we've got it covered. The work is done. And it's just reaction and, and going out there and doing what I've, what I've been working for. Fighting in front of my hometown is great. I think it's good pressure. It is pressure. Um, you know, a lot of people here, they have to work quite a few hours just to buy a ticket to come to this fight, and I, I want to make it worth it when they buy tickets because they really want to see it. So it does put some pressure, but I think it's good pressure. There's no added pressure fighting in her hometown. Wherever the ring's set up, it doesn't matter if it's here or, or anywhere. You know, once I step through those ropes, a bomb could go off and I wouldn't know, you know, where I was. I'm, I'm that focused when I'm in the ring. All right, Al, you know, I, I hope... It's going to be interesting. The crowd's going to have like a lot of energy sapped after that last fight, and they're going to have to suck it up because it's going to be an amazing one coming up right now. Mary Jo Sanders, the queen of Detroit, undefeated, 25 and 0, eight knockouts, making her way to the ring right now. There's her trainer, manager Jimmy Malo. Much has been made of the fact that she'll, of course, be facing a crowd that will be a little antagonistic to her, but she feels she'll be able to put it out of her mind. She's a superb athlete who has excelled in a number of different sports. And for her to be undefeated at this point in women's boxing is extraordinary because most women are not when they have over 20-some fights. And she's not exactly fought setups either. Nope. So it's going to be interesting. Let's just see what she could do. She came in at 152 and a quarter and said she skated into the weight. Had no problems, eating a lot. And had great sparring with Damon Fuller, a left-hander who is a male pro, good, solid male pro, who sparred with her the whole time. She feels that will make her able to handle Holly Holmes' left-handed stance. By the way, much like Garside, she's coming off sort of a semi-unprecedented seven-month layoff. And we'll see if that makes her rusty. And now this crowd's starting to get it up for... Oh, they're going to go wild here. And Holly Holm always does this jumping dance on the way into the ring. And uh, I guess just to get her legs going. She just loves to dance on the way in. She's an energetic fighter. She starts that energy at this point. And she's a fighter who relies on movement. As I said, a kind of a herky-jerky, uh, difficult style to fight. She will use all of this 20-foot ring, but she will be punching while she does it. This Everybody on their Everybody on their feet here in Isleta Casino in Albuquerque. Holly very familiar with this ring. And as we said, Mary Jo Chandler's very bold move to finally get this fight made, a much anticipated fight, a very hard to make fight, and it took Mary Jo Sanders leaving Detroit and coming to Albuquerque. But we're gonna get our official introductions right now from Benny Ricardo.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, finally, time to crown before your very eyes the best pound for pound female fighter in the world. From the Isleta Casino and Resort, Fresh Cast Productions presents live on Integrated Sports Pay Per View, finally, Holmes versus Sanders. Fighting for the IFBA Junior Middleweight title, 10 rounds, supervisor in charge, IFBA president, Judy Coolis. Also presenting at the WBA Award, Sue Fox. Tonight's fight will be fought under the auspice of the Isleta Boxing Commissioner, Commissioners David Anzara, Michael Hohola, Scarlett Lento, Inspectors Larry Casillas, Patrick Casillas, Dan Wilkinson. Physicians at Rickside, Dr. Jose Sterling and Dr. David Macias. The timekeeper, Anita Sanchez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet your judges from Arizona, Joe Garcia. From California, John Shorley. And from Chicago, Mario DeFiore. And when the bell rings, the man in charge will be Kenny Bayless. And now, finally, it is time, and let's meet your combatants. Starting with the challenger in the red corner. She weighed in at 152 and one quarter pounds. She comes to us from Detroit, Michigan, packing Motown hits. She comes to us with a perfect record of 25 wins. Eight wins by way of knockout. She is the four-time world champion in four divisions, the IBA middleweight title holder, Ladies and gentlemen, here is K.O. Mary Jo Sanders! And in the blue corner, she is the IFBA Junior Middleweight cha Champion. She will be defending her title. She has also been a six-time world champion in three divisions. The WIBA, the IFBA, the IBA, the WBC, WBA, and GBU welterweight title holder. She weighed in at 150 and one half pounds from Albuquerque, New Mexico, with a record of 21 wins, one loss, two wins, six wins by way of knockout. The preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. Okay, fighters are waiting referees instructions and there they come. Okay, ring center. Ring center, ladies. Okay, trunks are okay here. Chunks are a little high, so anything on the belt will be considered a clean punch. Now, now, ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you, keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Thank you, Touch up. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a stare off. <laughs> yeah, sort of unprecedented for Holly yeah. Holm. I, I, I haven't seen that many with Mary Jo, but. I've seen a lot of Holly's fights. and We, we take a look at the tail of the tape. Uh, a, a height and reach advantage from here, Joe Sanders. She would like to make the most of it, but by facing this left-handed style, that will negate some of those advantages. We saw Charlie Sanders, by the way, in the crowd, the dad of Mary Jo Sanders, the all-pro tight end for the Detroit Lions, and this young lady has athletic pedigree, and she comes right after Holly Holm to try and get to her. And I'll tell you, I'll say it right now, Al. Mary Jo Sanders told me that she's not going to chase Holly Holm around the ring, that she will have other ways of stopping her and cutting off the ring. So we're going to see if that's something that she actually employs. And she's coming out very fast here in the first round. Well, she has to go after Holly Holm. So there's the right hand. But Holly Holm will want to give her movement left and right. She is, Holly Holm is just constant movement in the ring. I never saw a fighter before a fight move as much as she did. 
And she's fighting a lot more aggressively here, coming right in than I've seen her in the past. Well, you know, Holly Holm, when she does that, when she stops and throws all those combinations, it's like that offense is her defense. It's very hard for people to, to land. Walking in, though, on a couple of Mary Jo Sanders shots right now. Holm studying her, a little tentative here as we're very fast first minute of this fight. You know, Mary Jo Sanders thinks one punch will change things. She is the bigger fighter. She is probably the more powerful. She thinks that if she lands one punch, it will significantly change this fight. We'll see. And Holly Holm, of course, coming up in wait to fight her. Right now, she is chasing her, though. Finding herself in a corner. Holly Holm tagging off on Mary Jo Sanders with 30 seconds to go in the first round. Holly Holm is a fan.